All right, check it out. Road trip extraordinaire. I might be, might be on the road to a test item. I don't know. I, I just might be. But on that route, when you gotta, when you have to pass the Bucky's, you don't go past the Bucky's. You see what I did there? And I stopped in and I was actually going to revisit the Texas Philly uh, burrito. They didn't have it. So I don't know if they have that later in the day because it is early in the morning, but they do have this and this has to be new because I don't remember a beast burrito. We're going to check it out. You, um, do you have any idea what's in here? It smells good. It weighs a ton. I was doing some arm curls before I started this intro, but um, all right, let's get into it. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive and sometimes very <laughs> impulsive. So I'm on the pilgrimage to see a moose. What movie is that? Now the video where I'm actually going, this is just a stop off, should be up in a day or two as long as I can finish the journey and that they do in fact have this product, you'll be seeing a test market item from some spot a major spot all right so here we go beast burrito over here at bucky's are you familiar with bucky's huge gas station tourist uh destination some might say tourist trap people love bucky's i love bucky's and uh yeah they do the chopped brisket right there in front of you they do uh pork uh, pulled pork all these other sandwiches they did tacos they had some tacos there they have all whole wall of um i don't if you don't know Bucky's, I'm sorry, just Google it. A whole wall of like fountain drinks. Uh, it is just a huge gas station convenience store. They are popping up all over the country. Um, and uh, I think the average Bucky's has like a hundred, something like that, 100 gas pumps. So there it is, a very unassuming burrito in the light. So what the Beast Burrito is, I have my cheat sheet right here, bacon, sausage, eggs, potatoes, and cheese. Sounds like a recipe for success. All right, should I go right into the middle like this? There was that famous picture where some people got a lookalike, a Justin Bieber lookalike, had him sit on a bench and eat a burrito like this, and then they took a picture of it and it went viral that Justin Bieber eats his burrito from the set from the center and it turned out it was just a publicity stunt but that picture and story went viral and it just you know nowadays 2024 anything can go viral except one of my food reviews because i'm just a guy eating some food making some making some jokes doing some uh what is it topical humor i don't even know if that's the word all right so listen let's just get right into it the beast burrito i need to refuel for this trip because some might say I'm crazy. <laughs> I would not dispute them. All right, wish me luck. That's good. That is packed. I get all the flavors. Wow. It's a really good burrito. Check it out right there. Yeah. A combo of bacon and sausage, and then you're getting tons of egg, and especially those uh, potatoes, they're like uh, crispy, kind of like home fried potatoes. Yes, please. Yes, please, Bucky. <laughs> I am so delirious. I'm probably not gonna remember filming this video because that I met, <laughs> I mentioned I'm on a, mentioned I'm on a pilgrimage to see a moose. Second bite. A lot of cheese in that bite. Oh, yeah. This thing is packed. Take a look. All right, so listen. 
I'm gonna get some shirts that say, all right, so listen, I always edit this back. I'm like, man, I say that phrase a lot. People can just look away when they see me do this. I'm a weak, weak man. I said I would not do uh, Duncan the whole month of uh, April. I think I've gone out of, uh, what is it, 11 days, 10 days. I've gone half, five or six days. But um, I actually remembered the Java Sock today. You guys familiar with Java Sock? I'm not sponsored, but I'd love to be because I never miss a chance. These Java Socks, they're just fully endorsed punch of approval. All right, so listen, the Beast Burrito, I mean, it weighs a ton, like you said. Not you said, I couldn't hear you. Like I said, I was doing arm curls with this, both like this. I got a little, I got some gains, and then I'm knocking it out with some uh, protein. One more look. The sun's kind of uh, interfering, but Bucky's, the way they're built, because they're so huge, and they're usually out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> there's like hardly any shade. So I have to like, I got to make do, you know, for you guys, for the video. But um, yeah, this is good. I enjoy it. Not too salty. A plethora uh, of ingredients filled to the max. And I like when they're out in the... Um, the trays where you kind of pick yours, you could kind of look and you could kind of see where one might be a little bit uh, girthier than uh, another, and you could pick and choose the one you want, even though it's in a wrapper and you can't really see. I'll take one more bite. We'll give it a rating. The sausage has a nice flavor. Mixing in with that uh, bacon, like I said, a nice combo with that uh, saltiness and like crunchiness of those uh, potatoes, and then a lot of uh, egg and a cheesy bite. That second bite was a cheesy bite. Last bite. Mm. A lot of stuff in here. One more look. We'll give it a rating. Yeah. All right, also check it out. New hat alert. And I can't believe I'm wearing this hat. That's all I'm going to say. Because I vowed when I started this minor league baseball uh, hat collection, I vowed I would never wear a hat from this team but it's such a cool looking hat. And their minor leagues don't count. So my head hasn't caught fire yet for wearing it. That'll give you guys some hints if you know what my favorite team is and who our rival is, but I love the hat, check it out. All right, one to 100, that is a solid 93. That is a legit breakfast burrito that is packed. It was $7.99, it was worth every cent, and uh, Bucky has come through again. I was just kind of disappointed that the Texas burrito, which has a like, um, uh, jalapeno um, mayonnaise, I think, or jalapeno sauce inside of it that just puts it over the top. But this one did not miss. All right, so there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, that's it. <laughs> I'll get back on the road. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews.